Good morning to everyone. Today, I am here to take your JC class. Already we have started chapter 7 and the name of the chapter was Rocks, Minerals and Soil. About definition of rocks we have studied. Then we studied about the types of rocks that there are three types of rocks mainly igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks. About igneous rocks we have studied in detail and already we have started sedimentary rocks. Today we have to study in detail about the sample rocks, sedimentary rocks and the first one is sandstone. Sandstone. Sandstone is the example of sedimentary rocks. Sandstone is a rock formed by deposit of mud, sand grains, made up of quartz and feldspar. This sandstone is made up of quartz, quartz and feldspar. These two together make the sandstone. How this is made up? By depositing sand grains, by the position of sand grains, and the sand grains is made up of quartz and transfer, nothing else. Okay? Clear to everyone? My students, what you have to do? You have to just hear what I'm telling and understand the things. Open your book and whatever I'm teaching, you just understand. No need to note down anything. Everything is given in the book. And even if after my teaching you have any queries, you can just watch one more time the video and things will be clear to you. While we do exercise, then only you need to write. And this sandstone, because of the presence of mineral quartz, I said, no, this quartz is also present. And due to the presence of this quartz, it varies in color from red to brown. The color of the borders or the color of this sandstone changes from various means, changes means different varieties we can see from red to brown. Some sandstone is of red color, some of brown color and some are in between them. Kutub Minar in Delhi These are made up of sandstone. What are the examples? Kutub Minar in Delhi, then Haba Mahal in Jaipur and Agra Fort. These are made up of sandstones. Now we will study the another example, shell. Shell. This shell is example of shell is example of this sandstone. Sorry. Made up of deposited layers of mud and clay. This shell is made up of mud and deposited layer of mud and clay. This is made from the deposited layer of mud and clay. That's why it is soft or and it is used to make bricks and tiles. This is a soft or for making bricks and tiles. This is used for making bricks and tiles. Next example is limestone. Limestone. Limestone is another example of sedimentary rocks. This is formed from remains of dead animals and plants. This limestone is formed from remains of from remains of dead animals from remains of dead animals and plants. Limestone is made from remains of dead animals, dead animals and plants from remains of dead animals. Small, small animal cells 
are found on the seabeds due to evaporation and this limestone contains this. It is used in making building stones, cement, linoleum, bricks, glass and paper rolls. And paper rolls. Once again I will tell what is the use of this limestone. It is used in making building stones, cement, then what I told, do you remember? Linoleum, linoleum, bricks, glass and paper rolls. Next example of this sedimentary rock is conglomerate. What is that? Oh! 
shine. The two presents of mica it shines. It shines. It has strips because of the presence of various minerals. Along with the mica, various minerals are present. That's why it, it has strips. It is used in making building stones and other structures. What is used of this finish? Finish is used in making the building structures and for making the building stones and for other structures. Next is quartzite. What is that? Quartzite. Quartzite. Quartzite is another example of this metamorphic rock. And this is formed from the sandstone. This is formed from the sandstone. And we know that sandstone is rich in quartz. Sandstone is rich in quartz. And quartz is a very, very hard metal. It is colorless or white and is used in making statues, glass, and also the porches. It is also used as a gem stone. What is used as a gem stone? If anyone asks you, what will you answer? Quartzite. Quartzite is used as gem stone. And quartzite is made up of the sandstone. And sandstone is rich in quartz. Quartz is a hard mineral. And this quartzite is used in making watch and glass. And also in making the Statues. Now, next example of this metamorphic rock is slate. Slate. Slate is a metamorphic rock usually formed from a fine sedimentary rock, clay, which is known as shell. How this slate is formed? Slate is formed from the shell. Slate is formed from the shell. It is formed under low heat and low pressure. This plate is formed under low heat and low pressure. Not very high heat and very high pressure. No, very low heat and low pressure. Resulting in a rock that is easily split into thin slabs. Thin slabs means thin pieces that have great strength and are very, very durable. Durable means long lasting. This slate is, if you see the slate, no one which students write, the smaller students, they write the slate just like this, it is looking. And in the hand they can carry, they write using chalk, sometimes using the pencil also. It is very durable, you cannot break it, very strength means it is having great strength also. So these are the examples of the metamorphic rocks about which we discussed. What are they?
But before that, let's see what are the mineral oils. Once again, I will tell. Once again, I will tell. You have to hear. A mass of rock that contains a useful mineral. Means if a big piece of rock is there and it contains a mineral, that is known as the mineral. There are two types of minerals. First one is metallic. Metallic. And second one is non-metallic. First one is the metallic mineral. And second one is the non-metallic minerals. Let us study about the metallic minerals. Die and God 
are formed. Holes are formed from the remains of trees and plants which grew millions of years ago. They decayed and sank into the ground and then pressed under the layers of rock and other minerals. When the vegetation started drying up, it turned into a pit which is known as the hole. Once again I will explain you. Means trees and plants are growing. In the forest they fall down and million of, after million of years they decayed and sank into the ground. And some rocks came and fall over it. Minerals came and fall over it. When the vegetation dried it turned into a pit black color which is known as the coal. The coal is found underground in layers and that is called the sins. Sins. This coal is found in the underground layers which is known as the sins. Mines to have to be made in order to keep the coal. Coal is very useful product. It is used as fuel and also used as dyes and insecticide. What are the uses of coal? It is used as fuel also and is used as dyes and insecticides also. Okay. And the remaining portion we will study in the next class. For today this much is enough. My dear students, your homework is to revise what we have studied today. Thank you class.